With half of Yellowstone Season 5 already available for streaming, the fans are super excited about what's coming next. Indulging in a bit of speculation, let's dive into some of the fan theories about Season 5 and the ultimate fate of the series. You have no friends in this building, John. You're gonna have to bring your own. What you gonna do first? What do you think I'm gonna do? You're all fired. Starting with one that predicts a harsh fate for one of Yellowstone's major characters. Monica will die. According to Redditor Micah underscore 1805, as the Jamie vs. Beth battle gathers momentum, John and Casey will most likely be caught in the middle. According to the user, something might happen to Monica that could make Casey blame his dad. As a result of this, he might take Jamie's side in the brewing family civil war. Plus, looking at it purely from the story's perspective, Monica's character does have the tendency to sort of get in the middle of things. Even though she's a humanitarian and deeply caring, she's not exactly the most popular character. Also, her character presence in the show has kind of reduced since the second season. Moreover, Casey explained after his vision that he saw the end, it could be that he meant the end of him and Monica. It wasn't further clarified, but maybe he knows that she might die. Don't let this get your spirits down, it's just a possibility. Yet, the next theory implies that a ranch hand might not be who we think he is. Walker's really a mole and is also Jamie's half-brother, so Walker's always been kind of detached from the other cowboys. He isn't all on board with the way John and Rip run things, but he stays on the ranch regardless. This led some followers of the show, like Redditor Still Witty too, to conclude that maybe he's a mole, and that's why he sticks around. The user explained that Garrett had said that he had a half-brother, and Walker spent time in prison just like Jamie's dad. Maybe this is a hint about a possible relationship between the two. The thing is that this might have some weight if you think about how Walker's intentions still remain a mystery. If Jamie's off the ranch, a Walker storyline might emerge, and a connection would only make the whole thing juicier. And you gotta respect good drama. Now strap in, the next speculation points to another possible character biting the dust. Summer Higgins meets her end. A major death in the ultimate season 5 finale isn't a far-fetched idea. And according to Pow Supermom on Reddit, Summer's arrest at the Dutton Ranch might be the first domino that leads to her demise. Historically speaking, it ain't always a great thing to be affiliated with the Duttons. People who've come close to the tight clan in the past have either ended up dead or have been roped into working for them. As per the Redditor, Summer's stuck in the thick of it due to the house arrest, and so maybe a hitman's gonna mistake her for another blonde who's a target. Yup, Beth. If Jamie ends up going ahead with a plan to have his sister taken out, Summer could get caught up in it after being mistaken as the target. Many viewers have been confused about her presence in the ranch this season in the first place, but a mix-up like the one outlined in this theory could serve as the final event that's interpreted as an official declaration of war between the Duttons. This may lay all the groundwork for a civil war. Such a war might decide the ending for the Duttons and Yellowstone. And as for that, there's a strong cryptic hint already in the series of what is to come in the future. Casey's vision outlines the Dutton family's fate. Right at the end of the fourth season, Casey saw a vision in the desert. It was apparently about his future, which, of course, is the same as Yellowstone's future. He was shown two pathways and was informed that he'd have to choose which one he'd like to take in the future. No further hints about the whole thing have been dropped so far, but he did say that one of the paths would mean the end of us. However, Dynamix811 on Reddit believes they figured out what the vision really meant. According to them, when the wolf or woman showed him the two paths, one meant choosing the ranch at the expense of his relationship with Monica while the other path symbolized choosing Monica and Tate. This would mean that he could be dooming his family and the ranch. In short, each road meant giving up an important relationship for Casey. This could lead to a dramatic conclusion for Yellowstone. Plus, it could totally be the climax of the internal conflict that Casey's been handling since the start of the series. He's always been kinda caught in the middle. 
It was only a matter of time he had to choose, so it checks out on that end. But this isn't the only plausible interpretation of his vision. Another one points to a different fate for the ranch. The ranch ends up becoming a part of the reservation. Redditor Dartvex thinks that this is what one of the paths in Casey's vision signifies. As per them, Casey and Monica's offspring are members of the tribe since they are part Native American. If they're the people that the ranch ends up with, it could very well go back to being a part of the reservation. This is a theory that tackles a deeper thematic problem as well. The factors out to undo the ranch have only been increasing as the series has continued. These are conflicts that make the plot intriguing, and they also allow the story to expand and develop. But come on, it's not sustainable. This way, the government could be out of the equation, and the Dutton politics could unfurl in an isolated arena. But another theory predicts a fatal ending for the Dutton patriarch. John Dutton passes away. Ricky Bobby 86 on Reddit pointed out that when John told Travis that he didn't have three years to build a legacy, what he really meant was that he wouldn't be alive that long. They explained that John's already aware of how, after his death, taxes are going to destroy all he's so far built, unless there's a legacy in place to prevent it. The theory's got some legs, honestly, because a life-threatening scenario seems to find Father Dutton in all seasons. Now that the ranch has got more powerful enemies, this could totally end up happening. But this prediction doesn't settle well. John's a fighter. Plus, he's got to be around to call the shots when Jamie and Beth get into it, because there's many ideas about what's going to happen when the two clash. Jamie and Beth's conflict might get closure. It's already clear that a fight's a brewing, but it's the implication of it all that's even more important. Think about it. Whoever ends up on top, this eventuality is one that the Dutton family won't be able to recover from. And knowing all that's threatening the ranch in the present season and in the foreseeable future, it isn't too far-fetched to think that maybe the two sworn enemies might end up reconciling. In season one, Jamie said that if hating him helped Beth, he was alright being hated. Maybe Jamie will be there for Beth in the future too. We'll have to wait and see. Jamie's had it pretty hard in the story, but according to the next theory, he might be in for a good ending. Jamie ultimately gets the ranch. Yes, okay, so there's a lot stopping this from happening. But according to Fat Wooey on Reddit, he's super smart and knows the ins and outs of the law. Were he to come up with a scheme, he'd have the law to back it up. That's a strong combo, y'all. From tragic, unexpected deaths to an optimistic ending, these were some of the best theories on how Yellowstone's gonna end.